है गाइस सो आज की वीडियो में हम तय करेंगे लगभग वन एंड हाफ आर की बस जर्नी एंड हम लोग पहुंचेंगे हाइडलबर्ग जर्मनी से स्ट्रेसबर्ग तो जहां पे मैं लूंगी अपनी सेल्फ ड्राइव रेंटल कार एक घंटा लगा पैकिंग करने में and i have shifted all the stuff that i'll need in the next couple of days in the smaller suitcase and bada wala suitcase i will not need to unpack at all yeah and i shifted my gadgets in another backpack so that stays with me ab chalte hain hey guys so finally made it on the bus right on time and thank god for such a rushed morning to be in the bus i think by road is when you really see the landscape so well so i will enjoy my drive to strasbourg we're off to france and i should get in touch with you once in there this is make a uh, an photo in your flats or english english and hindi फ्लेक्स बस सीट्स आर रियली कम्फर्टेबल देर इज इनफ लेग स्पेस एंड शॉर्ट जर्नी स्पेशली आई हाईली रिकमेंड फ्लेक्स बस बिकॉज द सुपर कम्फर्टेबल द रोड्स आर अमेजिंग एंड ओवरऑल अ ग्रेट ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस इज वेरी टॉयलेट ऑन बोर्ड आई थिंक दैट्स द टॉयलेट सो दे डू हैव अ टॉयलेट हाउ बिग हाउ स्मॉल आई डोंट नो I didn't check, but yeah, it seemed like a very compact flex bus. Big thumbs up for my experience so far. Comfortable seats, comfortable ride. Add to that the brilliant roads here. It's really enjoyable. Just about to cross the German border and enter into France, and the border here is on a bridge. Hey guys, so now finally in France, in Strasbourg. Super excited because here I rent a self-drive and bus luggage लेके वहीं जाना है. So let's book a taxi and go and pick up our self-drive rental car in France. Um, I like the fact that it's bright and sunny. And yes, I'm excited to see how the driving experience turns out to be here. So, if you see, there are a lot of these tents, and people are camping around in the area. And I asked my bus driver why is that the case. So he said that they are basically refugees from not refugees, but they're basically people who have sort of run away from home or their country, and they've come here, mostly Romanian. And uh, the French government is giving them. shelter here the companies around are giving them the tents here and the food to stay chill till they get their apartment oh my god that's so cool the french government seems to be very kind also i have oh my god look at the sky it's so pretty so my white bag so i have uh, i tried to book a taxi from booking.com which does not give the service here instantly i'll have to pre book it which i didn't do uh now i have googled some city taxi number and i have called these guys up and they have whatsapp me so that i could send them the picture of the address because i could not explain to them or they couldn't understand what i was saying when i was 
uh, sharing the address uh, on the phone. So yeah, let's see how much of the charge and if that's something which is uh, what I would like to afford. Parce qu'elle m'a elle m'a montré l'adresse, place de la gare, mais il y a marqué location, location, je sais pas quoi. Guys, Chuna lag gaya. He told me somewhere between 10 to 15 euros, and the meter also said 15 point something, but he actually took 18 euros. The entire time he was like talking to someone, and I was a little scared, frankly. So I didn't even argue that he should return me more money. But yeah, welcome to France. Now let's go and take our car. So I am at a point where people are renting their cars. But it is a booth where only a few uh, brands are available. I have booked from Discover Cars, which does not have office at this point. But it should be somewhere around. So I'll have to hunt a bit and that sucks with all the luggage and the camera. same building was where I'm getting my car. It was budget. It had also got the invoice from this number car. So yeah, I got confused. But yeah, thank God it was right there. So I'm super nervous right now for the record. Taking my address, my name, my email, my email address, my home address, my phone number, and my driving license. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I had to pay for my car. Uh, I'm a little conscious making this video here. But yeah, I had to pay for my car some 26,000 when I had booked it online. And that was not a cashless insurance. To just make it cashless insurance, I am paying another 230 euros here. Otherwise, if something had to happen, I had to pay somewhere around 1,500 euros, which is a lakh maybe. Indian rupee so that's quite a lot right so yeah I paid the 230 euro extra just to make my um, insurance cashless it's not an automatic car it's a manual car so oh, let's see how that goes I'm super nervous <sighs> guys the struggle is real I have to find my car he said in his tutor of the English something uh, and my luggage and luggage but it's fun sab kuch sahi ho jaye to it's fun kahin ko jhatke patke to problem hai so yeah let me just figure out where my car is and i shall get back so guys got the gaadi and yes let's see how it goes i'm going to take a little while to figure out things hey guys so finally i just drove half an hour from where this car was parked and i've come to the place that i'm supposed to stay tonight in which apparently i had to then cross the border and come back to german side funny right anyways lot of not lot like two three impatient drivers behind me were like getting agitated and uh, three four people honked and uh, i think rest is fine just the fact that you're driving on the other side of the road unlike uh, your own country india and um, it takes a little time the orientation the change in orientation and perspective takes a little time like by default i'm like because in india you're sitting here and driving like on the right hand side so by default i have a habit of seeing here and not on my left side so um but it was a good experience i crossed border also 
अपारेंटली यहाँ का बॉर्डर भी बहुत ही लाइक इट्स देर इज नो शूशा देर इज नो दे डोंट स्टॉप यू और चेक एनी डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड नाउ आई कम टू दिस प्लेस इट आई बुक्ड या so I was thinking I'll go to Strasbourg for tonight but if uh, I have to drive all the way back in this car that's not happening guys I mean I'm done for today the thrill of early morning catching a bus and now driving all the way is done chaliye andar dekhte hain is bande ko finally in my room just changing my clothes cuz it's nice sunny and hot over here and the room is a single seater I'm going to go get a bite now because I've not eaten anything since morning it's almost 1 I wanted to come and show you guys the beautiful beautiful restaurant we have here in this part of the world like germany and france border india they love their potatoes and they love their meat and they do their meats really well so what i'm having here is basically like fried potato like a almost like a tikki bland tikki which is yum deep fried and uh, with it i'm having a lot of mushrooms and some meat Where is the meat that like here? Well done meat, and uh, this has some cheese and mushroom sauce to bring all these ingredients together. And uh, enjoy my meal now. So I'm back in my room after my really delicious and really expensive lunch. Uh, I have some time, and I wanted to utilize this in figuring out my videos so far and taking all the footage that I've been uh, shooting because I've not had the time to do it yet. So I want to do that. But after a little hair care and skin care, got some of my leftover hair pack and face balm and stuff and a sheet mask. So I think I'm going to pamper myself a bit. And yes, that's just. It's going to be good fun, and then I can also chuck them here, so the luggage is slightly lighter. Also, I had to reverse my car right now to park it at another point, and it was such a challenge because I couldn't figure out how to reverse the car. <laughs> the gear doesn't function the same way as it does in Indian manual cars, and then I had to check a YouTube video to understand how to do it, and I think it was quite helpful because I then figured out how to do it. Yes, so these are little little. things which make you realize that there's such constant learning and unlearning that you have to do when you have to travel solo and my experience so far traveling solo in europe has been pretty fine there are people who are rude like the taxi driver today morning who dropped me to the heidelberg station was quite rude and i thought he was asian like he looked so much like an indian or a sri lankan or a bangladeshi and he was quite rude on the other hand the taxi driver who dropped me from strasbourg to pick up my car from was a little over friendly that all sort of made me you know be on my guard so yeah you have to be constantly on your guard while traveling so this is just the most amazing hair pack or hair balm that i use of forest essential hair balm basically oiling doesn't suit my hair much so i do oil my hair every once in a while but this pack has been so nice and my hair quality and hair fall problem is reduced germany was more reasonable i instantly feel there is a price difference here than heidelberg coffee is the same 2 1/2 3 euros but the food was so expensive 20 euros so this is the balm that i use again just one time use left this is the lightening and brightening they just be emulsion for a essential face balm again just a very nice greasy very ayurvedic smelling massage my face with it after this i'm going to watch some downloaded movie once i finish the movie i'm going to edit the videos and hopefully upload something by tomorrow so yeah i'll see you Later. Hey 
Hey guys, so last night I went for dinner and my god the portions are huge. No wonder that they charge so much for their food. So I got it packed. Kal Saradin, I was just on my laptop trying to ensure that at least I will edit one video and upload it today. So I have a feeling this side versus where I was like Heidelberg and Frankfurt. People are sweeter to talk to here but they charge a lot more as well. Any which ways this room costed me one and a half thousand INR for a night and the hotel people let me check in four hour early from their check-in time. The car parking is free usually parking is super expensive but the food here is expensive in this hotel and that more than made up for the reasonability factor of the stay if you would come this side definitely for a meal and uh, the vibe of the restaurant staying not sure here they do not have acs i think i woke up in the night feeling really claustrophobic and hot but let me just start my day and i will see you throughout the day okay Bye.